Hi, I'm Matt Cavenda from MattCavenda.com and today we're going to show you how to draw straight lines for an online flyer. First we're going to open up Photoshop. So here I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop CS4. We're going to go up to File and click New and under Preset there is US Paper. We're going to click US Paper. What that gives us is 8.5 inches by 11 inches and because this actually is going to be an online flyer we probably don't need to make that at the exact size but we're going to do web and under web you have many different options uh, and, in, and under those options we're going to pick um, 1024 by 768 which is the basic size of most screens so we're going to do that at 72 dpi because it's going to be on the web Right now it's horizontal. Um, we're going to want this to be vertical. Back to our canvas size. Right now it's it's by inches. So we want to go right here. You see the width. You want this to be in pixels. So you see 1024 by 768. You're going to switch these around. So this is going to be 1024 and this is going to be 768. Click this anchor so it anchors it up into the left hand corner. Click OK and then proceed. So we have uh, our web online uh, flyer here. So we're going to grab the line tool. And then right up here at the top where it says weight, you want to make sure you get that the thickness that you want it to be. So I'm going to make this a 8 pixel thick line. So we're going to line up with a 4. And you're going to bring it over so it goes all the way across. You see the line there. And we're going to do one more line. So we're going to go over to the shape one. You're going to right click on that. You're going to click duplicate layer. A little dialog box comes up and it makes a copy right over top of it. And then you're going to go in here. You're going to grab it. And then you're going to hold shift and bring it down. And we're going to bring it down to 10. All right. So that's lined up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in, I'm going to type in. Uh, so you're going to go over here to the T, which is the uh, type uh, dialog and we're going to type in for sale in caps in caps lock it's pretty small there to zoom in you can click over here you see this little uh, magnifying glass you can zoom in to make sure you're, you're clicking the right thing here so you click on for sale and right now the auto select isn't on so I'm going to click auto select up here in the left hand corner to make sure I grab it all right, now I've got it, and then I'm going to press T for type, select it all, and we're going to go up here, and right up here in the dialog box, you can see different sizes. So I'm going to go up to 48 point, which is going to make it pretty big. You can hit Windows 0, and what it does is it it centers and brings everything so it fills the whole page. So you go over here and click for sale and we want it to be bigger than this. So what you can do is you can hit Apple T and what that does is it makes it so that it can be uh, made bigger by uh, just grabbing and pulling. You hold down shift and you can make that as big as you'd like. So I made that that size. And then when you're all done you just hit enter. We are going to import an image. The way I usually import images is I open up the image that I would like. I'm going to open up this image of a Lamborghini and then I'll open up inside of Photoshop and then and I'm going to grab the marquee tool and we're just going to select the actual image we're going to hit Windows or Apple C which will copy it and then we're going to go back over to our tab that we're working on and then we hit Apple V to paste it I'm Macavenda from Macavenda.com and that's how you make straight lines for an online flyer.